Good morning, everyone. As we stand here on August 21st, 2025, the sun might still be shining warmly, but the wheels are already in motion for the upcoming winter. Thinking about snow and ice right now can feel a little strange, I know. Okay, so you keep hearing this term, La Nina. It sounds mysterious, but the concept is actually pretty straightforward. Imagine the Pacific Ocean along the equator as a giant bathtub. Normally, the water is warmer on the western side near Asia and cooler on the eastern side near South America. During a La Nina event, this difference gets supercharged. Unusually strong winds, called trade winds, blow from east to west across the ocean's surface. Think of it like a powerful fan blowing across the top of the water in your tub, pushing the warm surface water toward one side. This allows colder water from deep in the ocean to rise to the surface in the eastern Pacific off the coast of Peru and Ecuador. So La Nina is a period when sea surface temperatures in the central and eastern tropical Pacific are significantly cooler than normal. It's the cool counterpart to El Nino where that same part of the ocean gets unusually warm. The ocean and the atmosphere are in a constant dance. That big area of cooler water changes global atmospheric circulation, altering the path of the jet stream, a fast moving river of air high in the atmosphere. Now let's trace the path of La Nina's influence as it makes its way across the globe. The first major stop is North America. During a typical La Nina winter, the jet stream takes a big dip southward and then arches northward over the western part of North America. It tends to bring colder and stormier conditions to the Pacific Northwest and the northern tier of the United States. Seattle, Minneapolis could be in for a very snowy winter. Further south, the pattern is different. Texas, Florida might experience a milder winter with less rainfall than usual. La Nina creates a clear divide, cold and wet in the north, warm and dry in the south. This setup is important because what happens over North America doesn't stay there. The atmosphere is a connected system, and these patterns make their way across the Atlantic Ocean. This is where things get really interesting for Europe. A strong La Nina often promotes a negative North Atlantic oscillation. This weakened state blocks the typical flow of mild Atlantic air into Europe. This opens the door for cold, dry air from Siberia and the Arctic to plunge southward into Europe. Instead of mild westerlies, Europe can get bitterly cold easterly and northerly winds. So what does this all mean for Europe's winter as a whole? Based on the expected La Nina, the primary forecast is for a winter that leans colder than average for a large portion of the continent. The dominant theme will likely be increased frequency of cold air outbreaks from the north and from the east. This doesn't mean relentlessly cold from December through February, but more intense and prolonged cold snaps. When it comes to precipitation, the outlook is complex. With a weaker, more southerly jet stream, storms may tap into more moisture from the Mediterranean Sea. When moisture-laden systems collide with advancing Arctic air, it creates perfect conditions for significant snowfall. Many regions, particularly in Central and Eastern Europe, could see above average snowfall. The blocking pattern can act like a traffic cop for storms, diverting them on unusual paths. This can lead to slower moving, more impactful storm systems that linger for days, bringing sustained heavy snow or freezing rain. In summary, expect high variability with a distinct tilt toward colder and snowier conditions. A winter of contrasts, calm, crisp, cold weather punctuated by significant slow moving snowstorms. While the overall trend points toward a colder winter, impacts will not be uniform. The area most likely to experience the brunt of the cold is Scandinavia and Eastern Europe, geographically positioned for direct Arctic and Siberian air blasts. Norway, Sweden, Poland, Ukraine, the Baltic states should prepare for a winter significantly colder than the long-term average, with prolonged deep freezes possible. Moving into Central Europe, including Germany, Austria, the Czech Republic, the story will be one of intense battles between air masses. Cold, dry air from the east clashes with milder, moister air from the southwest. This setup is a powder keg for heavy snowfall events. Cities like Berlin and Vienna should anticipate more frequent and heavier snow than in several years. In contrast, Western Europe is typically buffered by the Atlantic Ocean. This region is likely to experience a highly variable winter with dramatic swings, periods of intense cold and snow followed by milder, wetter conditions. Finally, Southern Europe and the Mediterranean region. The southerly jet stream track directs storm systems right into this area, forecast to be wetter than average with heavy mountain snows in the Alps and Apennines. So how does all this meteorological talk translate into your everyday life? 
Let's get practical. The most immediate impact will be on your comfort and your wallet. At home, the heating system will be working overtime. Expect higher energy bills. Check your home's insulation. Seal drafts around windows and doors. Travel will be disrupted by more snow and freezing rain. Drivers, invest in winter tires for better traction on ice and snow. Keep an emergency kit in your car, blankets, water, snacks. Public transport users, expect delays and cancellations. Check schedules before leaving and allow extra travel time. Your routines need adjustments. De-ice the car, navigate slick sidewalks carefully. Slips and falls risk rises, especially for the elderly. Think about your property. Heavy snow can threaten roofs. Frozen pipes are a major costly risk. Learn your main water shutoff valve and insulate exposed pipes. With a forecast pointing toward a colder and snowier winter, it's crucial to identify potential risks. One of the most significant is to our energy infrastructure. Prolonged intense cold leads to massive surge in demand. If high demand coincides with low renewable output, calm days or snow-covered panels, it could lead to energy shortages, rolling blackouts, or extremely high energy prices. Another major risk involves agriculture and food supply. Severe cold snaps can damage winter crops like wheat and rapeseed. Severe weather disrupts transportation logistics. This could lead to temporary shortages and increased food prices, adding financial pressure on households already dealing with high heating bills. Risk to public health is elevated. Icy conditions increase accidents, putting strain on emergency services. Intense cold threatens vulnerable populations, elderly, homeless, those with respiratory conditions. For businesses, high energy costs, operational disruptions, employee absences, broken supply chains, declined retail traffic, and delays in outdoor work can negatively impact productivity across many sectors. While a cold and snowy winter presents challenges, there are also unique opportunities. One obvious beneficiary, winter tourism. Ski resorts across Europe, especially the Alps, could be looking at a banner year. More cold and natural snow equals longer, more reliable ski seasons. Opportunity for hotels, restaurants, and local shops to recover and thrive. From a business angle, demand shifts towards specific goods. Winter clothing sales rise, snow tires sell more, snow removal equipment, home insulation products see a boost. Energy companies face demand, but also revenue opportunity. Plumbers, mechanics, heating technicians are in demand. For entrepreneurs, this forecasts where consumer spending will move. There's societal opportunity amid high energy demand. A cold winter reminds us of energy efficiency. It can spur investment in better insulation, efficient heating systems, and conscious energy use. Finally, a snowy winter brings personal opportunities. Embracing classic winter activities, slowing down, spending time with family, enjoying cozy evenings by the fire. A proper winter can reconnect us with seasons and create lasting memories. So let's bring it all together. The 2025 to 26 winter forecast for Europe, heavily influenced by strong La Nina, points toward contrasts, colder and snowier than average conditions for many. The cooling Pacific is setting off a chain reaction, opening the door for Arctic and Siberian air to pour into the continent. This isn't unrelenting cold every day, but more frequent and intense cold snaps and snow events. For daily life, this means higher heating bills, potential travel disruptions, need for warmer clothing, and safer driving habits. We've discussed significant risks, strained energy grids, agricultural damage, public safety concerns, business disruptions, but there are opportunities. Winter tourism boom, increased business sales, and a chance to embrace classic winter joys. The most important takeaway is the power of preparation. With this forecast months ahead, you have a head start. Check insulation and heating, get your vehicle ready, consider winter tires, stock pantry with non-perishables. Ultimately, weather is powerful, but knowledge and preparation are equally powerful tools. This forecast empowers you to plan ahead, mitigate risks, and embrace opportunities. By understanding the dynamics and taking practical steps, we can navigate winter 2025 to 26 with confidence and resilience. Stay warm, stay safe.